the once a year gathering outside Attica Correctional Facility marks an occasion that more than a half century later, it is a very emotional day, is still painful. John D. Archangelo, Elmer Hardy, Herbert Jones. This remembrance honored the 10 prison employees killed in the September 1971 Attica prison uprising. Number one, Edward Cunningham. Including Mark Cunningham's father. Back in 1971, those who remember, we were told to keep our mouths shut and don't talk to each other. I remember that. That's why the group of surviving family members formed as the forgotten victims of Attica. The loss was immeasurable, but so was the love left behind. To remember 10 prison employees, nine of whom were killed in a hail of bullets when law enforcement stormed the prison, ending the siege in its fifth day, including Harrison Whalen. I mean, we got up in the morning, he had breakfast, and you never knew that that was going to be the last time you saw him. 33 inmates also died in the Attica uprising, most in its bloody end. Some credited with helping the hostages. There was a lot of terrible things that happened behind there, but there were a lot of inmates that did a lot of good things behind there. We can't forget them either. For years, relatives of those who died in the Attica uprising had hoped for an apology from New York State for the way the siege ended. They're still waiting. Quite honestly, I don't think the apology is ever going to come. And it's just words at this point. I'm not even sure it would be meant as it should be anyways. So I'm not holding my breath for that. Two years still carries a lot of pain. Coming together to remember those lost has become their duty. It is hard to come, but I can't imagine not coming because I think it's really important that they're remembered and honored, and that this is our way of doing that. Do you want to put one down? In Attica, Seth Voorhees, Spectrum News.